And now we have Donald Trump. <laughs> Jeez. Well, we're jumping in many ways, but I'll tell you one thing. Uh, I don't know why, but candidates couldn't get any national attention until he come along, and he's <laughs> getting a lot. And it's not always confined to the one, one NBC, CBS, whatever, Fox. They're spreading it around with him. Well, someone said that he's not really qualified to be president because the hair is an American. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty interesting. Uh, one comment was made about him. If what he is and what he has done compares him to be the president, well, Bill Gates should be the president because Bill yeah. Gates has 10 times the money that Bob the Trump had. Ten times the brains, too. <laughs> you know, people forget this guy went bankrupt several times. Sure. That, that's part of the history. And, you know, business, and a lot of people won't hold that against him because of the successes. And uh, I happen to know, he, from what I read, he built a hotel in Dubai. Oh, is that right? Yeah. And it, it's a, he's partnering with the locals there, you know. So he's got a, a worldwide... Uh, a, Voice in that respect, the business world. He doesn't stand a chance. Get I don't like this. Well, he could be a spoiler. Yeah, could be. And, and that's the thing that bothers me more than anything else. Now, I'd rather see some good candidates and uh, so we'd have some choices and not, hopefully they don't get into a third party thing and hopefully they don't get enamored with his personality. What personality? Whether it's, whether it's good or bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't his, his persona, I guess, would be a better word for it. <laughs> Have you been to the new Bowie City Hall? No, I haven't. I haven't either. I, haven't, I don't even know where it is. It's down near the it's, town center. Yeah, behind the town center, there's lakes right behind it. Yeah. yeah. Large white apartments of, in the background. Beautiful building. Um, yes. And we say very expensive, but it was about a third less than it would have been if it had been built oh. two years ago. Do you know I used to cover city council meetings uh, when they were held in the Bel Air Mansion? Oh, that's a while back. That's a way while back. But you know, they were the down on the city hall operating the area, and that is a while back. But I think the county police, police had were an there. office there. The city police, county police. County were, police that we didn't have any city police. Had a uh, office there, and it was kind of. You know, it was upstairs. You had to go up. Yeah. <laughs> that was an interesting experience. And now I, I hear more people outside of the city that know about the Bel Air Mansion. Yeah. And people in the city. Yeah. And I say, well, people, they talk about New Dubuque. They didn't even know there is such a thing as Bel Air Mansion. And there's another thing that's forgotten with a lot of new people moving in the community. I said, well, you know, one thing about Bowie, they've got bath and tennis clubs all over the place. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of uh, Four, uh, maybe amenities. Six. Yeah. Yeah. And that is not available in very many communities, although they're no. private, but they're available. Yeah, but we have public facilities as well, public gym and the old That's folks true. club, uh, old timers club. I go down there for lunch, of course. And then we have these these people from Claw, these fanatic, these animal fanatics, <laughs> want us to build a shelter in Bowie when there's one right down the road that we paid in our taxes for. That's right. In Upper That's Marlboro, or just outside of it. I mean, it's what? It's got a 15, 20 minutes is too long to take an abandoned animal down there. Oh, it shouldn't be. I don't know. There, I don't know the whole story about it, but I do and understand what. There must be more reason from their viewpoint than I have. Well, it's strictly their viewpoint. Yeah. They're just and, fanatics. And you know, I might meant you may talk about city hall. Yeah, we're sitting in the old city hall. The old city hall. We're going to be here forever. The studio yeah. uh, for Channel Eleven and uh, Rising Seventy Seven 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 for Comcast. Is going to be and you too. broadcast here. And you too. And you too. Yeah. And of course, that when I walked into the building today, it looked like the elementary school that it once was. It does. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the old school. <laughs> That's right. And you don't have all these people going up and down the halls, you know. The, well, I don't know, Bert. You think well, maybe they just didn't want us in City Hall lowering the standards? That could have been yeah. it. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll be invited, John, to the opening. I, uh, but don't hold your breath. I won't hold my breath. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want all but I think the uh, it's a possibility. But the important thing is we don't have to have an, an invitation because that whole first floor area I understand is public access area. Okay. And yet you've got to get permission. And we paid for it. Yep. And you've got to get permission to go up to the 
the VIP oh, the VIP, section. Where all the big shots hang out. Yeah. Oh. And I hope that with the city of we have police department there. I hope that's a walk in. I hope we don't have to sign in to go talk to a policeman. Oh, fair. if that if if that turns out to be the case, that I'll be appalled. Because in in my lifetime, I've had the occasion to go to a police department to report something, and uh, I notice that the way things are nowadays, they've got to be careful. Yeah. But they don't shouldn't be restric restricted. That's the point. By the way, I talked talk to the new system. I guess new secretary to the chief of police. Oh. Asking. He's out of town. Yes, yeah, uh, seems to be out of town a lot. <laughs> well, it takes that, you know. You've got to be continuous, just continuous training. Oh, okay. Uh, like doctors have to take, a, you know, two or three weeks a year and go trained again. Yeah. No. <laughs> but the impo <laughs> important thing is um, he is will be in budget meetings next week. We'll have him on the program soon in the future. So I like John Nesky. Yeah, John, I think, has done a good com yeah, job, do particularly too. community wise. I don't know of anyone in any that's done any better over the years, but they recognize Catherine. Well, Burrell. there's only been two of them. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I'm not talking about other areas. Okay. I'm not sure. It seemed like I was seeing a career program the other day in a high school, and they had a former football player, not former, but a player for the Atlanta Falcons, come in and talk to the kids. And I thought that was good. What he said was really good. And he, one thing that player mentioned, I'm not sure of his name, but he's a Prince George County product. Mm -hmm. And he was talking to kids in this grade, and the principal introduced him about what he did. Mm -hmm. And although he became interested in sport, uh, his best friends put their attention to the studies and so forth. Yeah. And they were working and doing well. And he was cautioning them about just putting too much emphasis on sports, yeah. which was a good message for yeah. him. And I don't remember his name. He's not a uh, well-known person yet. He's just fairly young with Atlanta Falcons. But the one thing I noticed is the NFL, in spite of all of the hoopla and the union thing now, they have always reached out to do community activities. And why not like this young man starting out? But anyway... Yeah. That's not uh, going to help us in Bowie, but what no. I do hope happens in Bowie is a better communication with the county. We're back to the county thing now. Oh, yeah. And there's enough new county. We talked to John Lally about that. Yeah, we did. And yet I think the city has to take the initiative yeah. to have more communication with the county. Well, if it doesn't, it's just going to go on and on like it has in the past, and that's been a fiasco. Absolutely. The interesting thing I believe about uh, the whole shakeup and considering the term limits in the county is we, in my opinion, John, we realize that term limits were correct. Yeah. Put them in the county. Yeah. Can you imagine going through what we had to put up with and heard from the last eight years, having to go through another eight years of that? Oh, God, no, change no. is Change could be oh. helpful. It's, it's depressing. It, the last eight years of county government uh, it, it has been absolutely depressing. Thank heavens, the city is semi-autonomous, but sure. not, not really. We can't even say what, what can, can and can be built here. Um, has done a much better job. They're in fina better financial sources. Maybe it's jealousy on the part of the county. I mean, we're as big, we're as, big as several counties in the state of Maryland, and we're still... That's you know, right. like a subsidiary of Upper Marlboro. Yep. The interest, well, that's of great interest to me because uh, when I used to travel several states, John, and people say, where are you from? I'd say, Bowie. They didn't know where Bowie was. Of course not. But they knew where the racetrack was. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, the Bowie racetrack. <laughs> oh, is that That was our early claim to fame. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's a possibility the city even buying that grounds yeah. of the and I think the state agreed to sell it to Bowie oh, okay. and loan them the money. Because to it's buy not it. in city limits, is it? No, it's not. And if the important thing is, there should be no development there. Is Bowie State University in city limits? No, no, I don't it's think not so. either. But uh, there's certain some people who voiced objection for many years that we should, and what they call it, annex or whatever, uh, the university. Well, we're two totally different communities. There's no interaction between Bowie State and the. 
No, and the Bua Chamber tried to do that many years ago. When uh, Jim, Jim Lyons, Lyons was there. he was the best president that university has ever had. And we held me. It was a great deal of cohesion in the business community at yeah. that time. And there was a great deal of. Uh, I worked with a, Mrs. Johnson there, who actually had job fairs, and uh, she'd get the FBI in, and she did an excellent job. She retired. I worked with her closely on a lot of ways. And there was a lot of businesses in Bowie that hired part-time yeah. students yeah, there. Sure. And it was the most logical thing to yeah. do, kept them through their education. And so often, I was at the Panera Bread a while back and asked the student, she went to Bowie State. Bowie State, man. So I don't know. Well, I'll tell you, though, speaking of employees, just think the highlight for me of the, of the entire eight years has been Mom's organic store. <laughs> oh boy, delightful! And you know, I've got to say, I went in. I don't go in there often, but I did go in there for looking for some soup. They are the nicest people too. Oh yeah, and they oh, helped me. God, you go to CVS and they treat you like you're imposing on them. <laughs> you go in there, the people couldn't be friendlier. It's almost like when you walk in the door, everyone's wanting to speak to you. I know it works there. Yeah, and and me not being a regular there. They didn't want to, they had some kind of do it to run there where they had a sample, mm -hmm. uh, table set up, mm -hmm. where the produce stand is on the right. And I guess that's a welcome to anyone to come in yeah. and try a sample or whatever. Everyone assumes, you know, that the prices there are going to be outlandish, but they're not. No, I found that. I they're not outlandish up. at all. And it's I good quality up. food, which is more than I can say for some of our other grocery stores. Well, a lot of people don't understand when it says organic on the label, and I bought some soups there. My wife said, I'd like to have a few real. And I bought, I, I had to ask someone, because I didn't see any soup brands. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking for Campbell, <laughs> looking at no, red no. and white labels, nothing. No, no, it's all uh, and, special. And it was the uh, best yeah. we've had. Yeah. And so we'll do more business there. And then, of course, we can drop by Aldi's there. Aldi's is cheap. Sometimes, though, I, I bought something in Aldi's the other day that was five years out of date. Uh-oh. But speaking of out of date, Bert, which are, you and I are not, of course, I get a free massage out of appearing in my bathrobe. Supposedly. Oh, boy. Part of one of the bets from someone. But we have reached the wrap. Oh, good. Oh, goodness. This was fun. The reminiscing, actually, these, they, you know, these are, are good. Yeah, I appreciate it, John. You yeah. allowed me to have part of the program. And you've never co-hosted anyone with a bathrobe on? Never. <laughs> my first, and when you took it off, I was worried about that, <laughs> thinking you were going to take another shower, and that, I guess, is time to wrap. <laughs> well, thank you very much uh, for tuning in. We'll see you again in two weeks. We're on every other week now. Um, same time, same station. Same place. Everybody else is left City Hall, but we will be here. <laughs>